That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about Pleasure, as in the directorial debut of Nina Thyberg, which premiered at the 2021 Sundance Film Festival uh, and is being released courtesy of Neon, uh, May 13th, 2022. Uh, directorial debut. Yeah, uh, I did read uh, recently that this director, her next film is going to be a remake of The Witches of Eastwick. Ooh. Well, I thought this film was interesting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the basic story is there is this 19-year-old Swedish girl who moves, to, she's from Sweden, moves to Hollywood. Her name is Bella Cherry, her porn name. Mm -hmm. She's moved to Hollywood to become a porn star. Mm -hmm. And she does. The end. Ah. Uh. Well, it's very basic. Yes, uh, <laughs> it, it 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 reads kind of like an expose, but I don't think that it's making like broad sweeping definitive statements uh, about the porn industry. To me, this this does feel contained about one young woman's experience. It's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. It plays out exactly how someone. I mean, maybe from my angle, because I grew up here and I live here now in Hollywood and I'm familiar somewhat with the porn industry, like not because I'm a performer, but not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's very straightforward. So Bella Cherry, she moves to Hollywood with an agent already in place and um, she moves into a model house. So there's this house where other porn actors live and immediately she hits the ground running. She already has castings and she's doing scenes. Um, when, and she does a couple when she sees, she's at a photo shoot and she sees, um, an actor who was like top tier, this brunette lady. Named Ava, played by Evelyn Clare. And also notably, Sophia Kappel plays, uh, Bella Cherry in her film debut as well. I thought, uh, her name's Sophia Kappel. Mm -hmm. I liked her. She's yeah. a beautiful lady. She looked like Elle Bangs to me, the beauty, uh, YouTuber mixed with Chloe Grace Moretz. I thought she looked more like Adele. Sure. But she's a beautiful lady. I yes. think she had a lot of screen presence. Mm -hmm. Her hair situation was a problem. We could talk about it. But, um, so she's, she hits the ground running. She's working. She's uncomfortable at first, but she takes to it. But she goes to a photo shoot and she sees that other lady. What's her name? Ava. The, the, the brunette who's mm -hmm. stunning. Like she mm -hmm. looks like a star and clearly Bella wants to be like her. So they go to like a pajama party. Like it looks like it's at the Play playboy mansion and she's asking about these girls and realizes that they are, they have an agent who's like the premier agent for porn actors. Mark Spiegler. Spiegler. Playing himself. Oh, that's a real person? It's a real person. Many of the cast members are... Uh, porn actors. Adult actors, yeah. Okay, so Bella reaches out to Spiegler, and he's actually quite generous with his time to her. He explains to her, like, yeah, I looked at your social media, I looked at your work, you're just a little too vanilla for us, you don't have enough of a social media presence. If you get your levels up, Maybe I can work with you. So then the bulk of the film is her trying to be less vanilla. We needed a Sierra level up montage. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the music in this movie is, it, it feels like like they couldn't get Megan the Stallion. So they or got Cardi Tracy B. the Pony to do some songs <laughs> oh or something. Because it's very like hood ratchet type music that I thought was slightly corny. But it, but it feels very like strip clubby. Anyway... Bella, in order to get her levels up, she does like some kink porn. And then at a point, a gentleman who's escorting her around like as her driver. Once. Once. From her first shoot. Yeah. A, a black man who's also a porn actor. Named, played by Chris Cock. Explains to her that interracial porn is like the most taboo porn. Which I was surprised to learn. I was taken aback about that. But, but take it for what it is. That's what he says. And he's so she has that in her mind. And after talking to Spiegler... She's like, okay, well, I need to step it up a notch and be more kink and more extreme. So she elects to do um, like an interracial scene for free to add that to her resume, which results in her doing like, we can't really talk fully about this movie because I don't want to be demonetized or have this video taken down, but she engages in like double anal penetration, which is like, when she tells the other actors, they're like, wow. It's like Christopher Walken. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. She even says, like, it's the first in the industry or something. Yeah. Which I was like, confused by, too, because I've seen that before. But anyway. I, I mean, gay porn is, like, maybe more serious. Anyway, we can't talk about too much. So she um, she does that, and then she goes back to Spiegler. And he's like, <laughs> I thought it was kind of a corny scene because he's in his, what looks like his home. With dirty feet. With some dirty ass feet up on the a coffee table, and then he has two of his other female actors there, 
who aren't as bad as the ones we saw at the party. Because the, maybe they didn't have the budget to hire those ladies for more than one scene. Because the ladies in the scene at the pajama party where they're taking pictures like for press, those are some badass ladies. The ones who are in his home look like... They seem, <laughs> they seem like the housewives. They seem like, yeah, like they just... His bordello of housewives. Yeah, but... In a corny scene, I thought they're kind of saying like, yeah, she's cool. You should take her on. Like, she's she seems great. like the real We deal. like her. Okay, girls. So he says, I'll take you on like on a trial basis. So sort of a, tor a sort of a turning point in the film is that Bella has made friends with one of the, she's made friends with all the girls in her house, but one in particular who takes a liking to her and helps her. Joy, played by Zelda Morrison. So now that Bella is like a premier girl and she's going on a premiere shoot, she's, she says, I want to, I want uh, whatever that girl's name Joy. is to come with me to film this scene. But the male lead in this scene is a guy who Joy had had a bad experience with previously. Mm -hmm. Cesar Chavez, is that his Caesar name? Caesar was the, his porn actor's name, yeah. So they have a really bad like scene where they, Bella gets up, or Joy gets upset and wants Bella to stand up for her. But Bella's agent, that Spiegler guy, says, my girl's... They are easy to work with. They don't cause problems. No drama. You just show up on time to your work and leave. So when Joy is begging Bella to tell the director that this guy is an asshole, Bella doesn't do it. So of course, of course, Joy is like, "You're. I hate you. I never want to see you again." They kick Bella out of the model house. Mm -hmm. But it's whatever because now Bella's kind of big time because now she's like doing bigger scenes. We see her at the AVN Awards. Um, and then we see her sort of at the end of the film, the culmination is she does a scene with this uh, Dita Von Teese looking lady. Ava. Ava. Played by Evelyn Clare. But I don't know how much we could say Who I again. believe is also uh, an adult film star. And is stunning. They do a scene together and things kind of go left because I think... Uh, Ava. Ava is trying to be mean to... Bella in front of the director and says, oh, she can't do the scene with her because she has a yeast infection. And the director's like, well, we're not wasting our time. So you go grab this strap on. We're going to switch things up. And it's in this scene where we really see Bella like transform into like the entertainer she really wants to be. And then we're made to think that it's that scene with this well-known actor that sets her on her trajectory to stardom. And then the final scene of the film is it looks like they're going to like an after party to celebrate the success of this scene. And she sees her friends from the old model house and they're having a gay old time, laughing, dancing. Meanwhile, Bella and Ava are sitting in the VIP section looking miserable. They drive home in the limo after Bella has apologized to old girl, her old friend. She didn't apologize to her old friend. She didn't? She apologized to Ava. Oh, she apologized to Ava. And Ava goes, for what? For what? And then Bella says, stop the limo. I want to get out of the car. And that's the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. So um, very much an all about Eve showgirl's trajectory about this woman that comes to Hollywood to be a porn star, but kind of without the camp or grit of either of those <sighs> films. Yeah, I, I did enjoy this movie. I think it was a very straightforward depiction of like one person's journey in wanting to be a porn actor. But what was missing for me is like there's no interiority for Bella, which I guess someone could make the argument that... I think she doesn't have any yet. She's a 19-year-old. Yeah, but it, I feel like I needed to know something about her to care because I didn't care if this girl made it. I didn't care if this girl stayed being a C-level actor or an A-list actor. I didn't care if she took her ass back home to Sweden because there's a point where there's a really uncomfortable scene yes. when she's trying to do more like hardcore stuff where she does like a rough rape fantasy scene and it's really hard to watch and she breaks down and says I can't do it and it's right after that that she calls her mom like I want to come home but the mom doesn't know that she left Sweden to do porn the mom thinks she's in L.A. for an internship. So Bella's being very vague and she's like, well, everyone here is insane. And her mom is like, well, you know, maybe you need to give us some time. You called me two days ago and you said you had made friends and you were loving it. And also, bitch, don't forget, you told me you wanted to leave Sweden because everyone here was insane. So maybe you need to sleep on it. And then the next day we see her get up and decide that she wants to do like DP black porn. So, but... 
Yeah, I, I just didn't feel anything for this character. She just seems so flat. Like, all she says is she wants to be a star. And at yeah. one point, she tells Spiegler, I want to entertain. I like people watching me. But then... She, her... she, she says a couple times, I want to be the next big porn star. But then we, she doesn't really act like someone who wants to do that. She seems kind of timid. But then also, in the same scene where she's acting like she doesn't want to do it, she's also on Instagram taking photos of her with semen all over her face and talking to her uh, followers. So I was a little confused about who this person was. So it but just I, left me not caring about her. But I think that's because she doesn't really know who she sure. is. Sure. Is, is the sense, like the, the naivete of this person yes. that thinks that they can just come to Hollywood and be a porn star and not realize that without a little humanity, it's kind of a soul deadening process yes. for many. But that not makes, for, but that not, makes sense But not me. for everybody. I do appreciate that Thyberg uh, did... The, 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 diff, the most difficult scene is this that rape fantasy scene but prior to that there's a BDSM scene filmed with a female director and so I, I appreciate it's night and day yes I appreciate that the film shows that there is a way that because uh, you know I do believe that people should be able to do whatever they want with their bodies with other consenting adults there is a way that this industry can be mutually beneficial if women are treated equally uh, yeah. and, and safely and comfortably. And it, I do appreciate that it does show that. I think it's well done. It just, I finished the film sort of feeling like I didn't necessarily, I wasn't invested in this person, but maybe that's the point is that we take these sort of actors for granted and the type of work they have to do. And also, you know, maybe some porn actors feel like they have to disassociate themselves from the acts they're performing. Um, and so maybe that's why she feels flat. I don't think that it's a misstep. It just, in the end, left me feeling like, meh. And maybe that was the point. Well, that... because it allows her to be, it still allows her to be this innocent, this innocence despite at being a 19, being, you know, quite sexually experienced for a 19 year old uh, and, and moving from victimhood to becoming a victimizer. There are so many skeevy moments, like when Bella's going on these casting calls and you have all these men, like male casting directors, who are asking these girls to get nude because they're filming gonna... them on their phone and then taking f pictures and video on their cell phones and it's just like who knows who they're sharing these with who knows how many well a library they have that they use for their own personal like arousal that was very disturbing to me um her little friend joy joy there's a scene where it's the scene where bella first sees ava and she's clearly like intimidated and she's having a hard time modeling and that's when Joy, who they paint her as being not very attractive. I thought Joy was actually a really cute... She's beautiful. Yeah. Of the three, I could see Joy being like a... Uh, who's that lady who, with the bangs? Zoe Deschanel. Mm -hmm. I could see her being like that kind of star. So I think it's funny that she's supposed to be like the least desirable. Because of the three, I, I could see her actually being like a TV star. Um, well, she had the most personality. And she had the most personality. But she helps... Um, Bella like pose I thought that was a really sweet scene well and also she's the only one it's the only moment where we have like females actually sticking up for one another yeah then there's a scene where um uh Joy is helping Bella like take insta videos and they're practicing performing oral sex on a banana <laughs> that was a moment of levity or brevity what's the word levity levity um they <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be careful what I talk about because it's very adult. Um, there, When Bella is getting ready for her interracial scene, because it's anal, of course you have to get prepared, which involves, you know... Stretching. Stretching and uh, cleaning. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a very truthful scene. Yes. You know, and you often don't see that in film. Yeah, I think that's the thing. There's a lot of... it's. I wouldn't say pleasure is a gritty film, but it does show a lot of like the mechanics that yeah. kind of go into the making of this and how unpleasurable and how unsexy it all is. Even from even from Jump when she films her first scene with that um, actor uh, and just even the pulling down of the pants and they have to redo all these scenes and the people talking. and I did appreciate that we see more erect penis than we see like full-on vagina. Yeah. Which is very new, right? Like that's not common. And this film is being released unrated. I so yeah, so I, I thought that was an interesting thing. We you know the sex is simulated. We're not seeing penetration. Um, it is for for being subject matter that's so graphic. It doesn't feel that explicit. I mean, minus seeing like erect penises, it's 
it, it could be an R-rated movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, I, I think that, uh, you know, maybe it's not as dark. I feel like some people watch this film and think that, the, you know, this is so dark and depraved, which is not at all how I think about it. Is it the best film I've seen about the making of a, a, an adult film actor? No. Uh, something like Sean Baker's Starlet. Uh, starring Dree Hemingway, I I probably like a lot more as a film overall, or even you know he revisits that territory with Red Rocket a bit. Uh, but I think it's very well done. I think uh, it, I'm very uh, interested in seeing what Thyberg does um, from here, especially with Witches of Eastwick and uh, Sophia Capel. Uh, notably in 2013, uh, Nina Thyberg. Uh, I think it played a can, had a short film called Pleasure, which was about the filming of one particular porn scene. What would you give it? I'd give it three and a half. I would give it three out of five. Anything else? No. Listen to our podcast. Bye.